just like waiting for my COVID-19 stimulus check to arrive. Come on, where's the money? Hey guys, CS here. Welcome back to our let's play of Dark Reign, the future of war. In this episode, we are doing Mission 9, The Cure. And uh, this is a bit of a pain in the ass. I know I keep saying that about these missions, but th this one, this one's really a pain in the ass. Um, I've I've kind of summoned a bit of a strategy here, but it's it's still probably gonna take a while. So hopefully, I may have to split this one into multiple videos, but we'll we'll see. Anyways. After the Imperium's success in impersonating Freedom Guard forces on Lycian, the Imperium determined to create an entire division of fake Freedom Guard troops. To make the counterfeit forces more authentic, thousands of Imperium soldiers were injected with the marked enzyme keys so they would bear the mark and be indistinguishable from genuine Freedom Guard units. Imperium researchers on Turnalin developed an agent to counteract the effects of the marking for their troops. The geneticist responsible for formulating the antidote, Jill Kara, was working for the Imperium against his will. He leaked a small portion of the counteragent to the Freedom Guard and hoped they would be able to fight to end their genetic bondage. Bondage. However, Freedom Guard scientists were unable to duplicate the compound, and the Synod decided to attack Ternalin and attempt to capture Karak. This storyline is confusing. Um, anyways, we have to, um, what we have to do is penetrate the Imperium defenses and capture Karak, who is the scientist. Uh, destroy the genetic research facility and move Karak to the off-world transport platform, which is heavily guarded by Imperium forces. So, this mission... Hold on, I'm gonna slow things down for a moment. This mission's a pain. You get a bunch of stuff to start with, uh, but guess what? You don't get any water to start with. No water. There are two water holes on the map, and both are heavily guarded by Imperium, um, defenses. And then in the middle of the map, we have we have Karak, who is at the genetic research facility. He is being captive by uh, Imperium guards. And it, yeah, this mission is just frustrating for multiple reasons. But let's see what we can do here. Um, I have a bit of a strategy. And that is using these invader troop transports to first off, knock out some of the artillery around the area because there's artillery, some scarabs that are strategically positioned around here. And then we're also gonna make use of scouts as well. So I'm gonna put this back on regular regular speed. We're gonna go ahead and uh, take one of these down here and try to take out some of the artillery. And I, the only the only reason I know is because I played through this mission before and it was hell with artillery constantly firing on my defenses when I try to grab the water. Uh, so if we can if we can get rid of them, oh, see this is what I'm saying. <laughs> There's artillery in multiple places. Uh, I'm gonna have to slow this down. Hopefully I can do this well. This requires some extreme precision. Precision, mind you. And let him out right here. Alright, just make sure we destroy those scarabs. And that was the entire goal there. And our forces are pretty much dead, I think. Um, next one is off to the right. So I'm gonna grab that second transport to get rid of the scarabs over there. Speed this up a bit while I do that. So those are my first two goals, to get rid of these pesky artillery. Oh, and there's also, here's where the water location is, or at least one of the waters. So what do you do, dude, what? Oh boy, all right. So the rest of the artillery is in here. And if I'm good enough, I can take them all out with these guys. But there are also some turrets in here, which are there. Okay. Fantastic. Everyone get out of there if you can. If you can't, oh well. Okay. Well, that was fun. 
Up next, I'm gonna make some groups out of these. Now, the, the entire part of um, the thing about this mission is I think they want you to take both water locations on the map and then eventually devise a large army and attack the Imperium base. Uh, but we're... In, I don't have time for that. <laughs> this is... Um, here, we're gonna go ahead, move our artillery down. There's gonna be waves of light Imperium attacks and annoyances going on throughout this entire... Oh god, what's happening up here? Oh great, already losing half my artillery. That's fantastic. That's good. That's exactly what I wanted. <laughs> Okay, let's, uh, oh good lord. So, Imperium are already triggered by the fact that I, I took out some of their artillery, I, I suppose. I'm gonna trust in these, um, these mechanics here to help repair some of my tank, because I ain't got no money. <clears throat> okay, I think everyone is well repaired now. Let's go grab a tree, I mean, a scout. <laughs> I'm gonna grab a, a scout and we're going to uh, use them to, oh, you, hey, you, you need to repair, buddy. I better, I'm gonna have to guard these, uh, guard these artillery really well. Um, okay, make this guard three, squad three. And I got freighters waiting to be used. And we will be able to use them once we take one of these waters. Trust me, I, it, it, it's it's really good that we took out the uh, artillery first because those artillery are really a pain. Um, when you're trying to take these water locations. I gotta sneak around here and then use the artillery I'm going to uh, try to defend these guys as best as possible. And I guess I'll skip, skip the game a little bit. Okay. Now they have a neutron accelerator down here as well that we have to take out. So let's. Whoop, hold on. Gotta keep making sure the base gets repaired. Uh, there's a lot of, lot of different moving parts in this mission. It's really not all that easy. Alright, that neutron accelerator is almost dead. Just a few more hits. And then we're going to move the turret as well. And we're going to start sending down our freighters to help collect water. And while we're at it, we're going to have this guy collect tail on. And we can't do a whole lot until we get our first um, load of water. Now, normally they'd be seizing me with, our, with those four pieces of artillery down at the bottom of the map. And that really sucks. So, whoop. <laughs> of course, my horror freighter's got that turret on the back of it. And it's automatically attacking enemy freighters, which is probably going to trigger the enemy quite a bit. Uh, might as well try to take out this recon drone. Alright, you guys spread. And hopefully I don't... Hold on, I'm gonna keep these guys back. This is gonna be... I'm gonna keep these guys on guard mode. Independence low. Let's see if that helps. Uh, I also, my I should probably bring my artillery back. Don't need them right now. Keep them in the corner of my base. Uh, I'm going to start building uh, assembly plants. Uh oh, what's happening? Okay, gotta gotta keep especially close eye on these guys because they can and will easily die if I'm not paying attention because they are stupid. Okay. 
course, the freighters are kind of under attack and route. Now, one strategy uh, that might could be employed is building a water launch pad down here along with the tower, but that would waste a lot of time and time is what we don't have right now. Uh, as time increases, I think the Imperium attacks are going to also increase in intensity. So my goal here is to, um, we're going to have to sneak in here um, pretty soon and grab Karak. Uh, to do that, we're going to need some infantry, which I'm going to build. And also going to build a phasing facility. Because a phasing facility is one way to, um, we can use the phase transport to potentially take Karak and, uh, how are we doing down here? Okay. All right. Still doing, still doing good at the water. That's a good sign. This is actually going better than I expected. Um, previous time I played this, like, I got wrecked. I had to, <laughs> I had to restart it, like, twice at least. Um, all right. So going to upgrade the headquarters. Oh, okay. Got some activity here. By the way, these things are flak jacks. They are anti-air. So they <clears throat> can help um, destroy the Imperium uh, Cyclone air units that come by. Um, so yeah, now we can upgrade the phasing facility. Do that. I'm also going to grab a bunch of mercenaries as well. Enemy engaged. Uh, how are we doing down here? You guys staying alive? Okay. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Got low power, but the should be getting some more tailings. Definitely collecting a decent amount of water here. All right, so we're gonna go ahead. I'm gonna build a troop transport. So I have one already. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Fill a second troop transport. Okay. So now we're going to sneak through these woods. There is a way through the woods over here. Like at first glance, it might appear this entire area is inaccessible. But there is a path through the woods, which can be accessed. Maybe you actually have to destroy one of these trees. Or just wait until the enemy guardians come within my line of sight, which is what's happening right now. Oof. Oh god, we're getting wrecked. Okay, I need more infantry. <laughs> that didn't go well. Alright, you guys still handling things? Cool. Okay, good. That's well. Oh, crap. Oh, run away, run away. Run away! Imperium are angry. Alright, let's spread around. Spread out again. Um, gonna have to, uh, prepare this guy. Oh boy, okay, now we got cyclones coming for us. Yeah, it's, it's getting real fun. It's getting real fun around here. Alright, let's try this again. Need to get Karak out of there and destroy that genetic testing facility. Let's move. Let's roll. Um, oh, might want to attack this Bion first. Okay. Hopefully we have enough now to get through here. Another thing I could have done is use artillery to take out some of these guys, but I don't think they... Okay, there's also a turret there, but... That turret really doesn't have any power. It's really a powerless turret. So, we're gonna get in here. And there's some cyclones flying around. I'm not too 
thrilled about that. But let's just see what we can do. All right, we've rescued Karak. Let's, of, co of course, he's coming under attack. <laughs> Knew that was gonna happen. All right, let's see if we can get Karak out of here before he gets killed. All right, everyone, I need you to assist Karak and make sure he doesn't die, okay? This is very important. Karak must not die on the way back to our base. A little convoy going here, and complete with a tree. <laughs> I, d I just selected everything and ran with it. All right, so now that Karak's back, uh, let's actually heal him up first. We can use the medic, make sure he gets healed. Okay, and of course, all hell is breaking loose around the base, but we, we don't care about that because we're going to be out of here soon. Um, let's go shove him in the phasing facility, and he'll be loaded in the phase transport. And in the meantime, okay, so we're all done down here, actually. We did what we needed to do, despite the cyclone apocalypse. Um, Alright, so we're going to move this phase transport. Uh, you can see down here, this is the transport platform. We just need to get it down here. And uh, even though things are falling apart up here, it really doesn't matter, because once we do this, the mission should be successful. Um, yeah, we've, we're losing all our freighters. Uh, yeah, wow, actually we lost, I lost all the hover freighters. That's good. I mean, I have plenty of credits now. I could always rebuild another one, or I could use this one to collect water, uh, but that's, we don't, we don't need that right now. Now, if you if you observe closely um, at the very look at all these look at all these forces. There, there's turrets. There's lots of neutron accelerators. There's they have like so much shit around here to try to prevent you getting to the entrance. And honestly, it's kind of a cheesy way to use the um, the phase transport. But here we go. There we go. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Oh my god, I thought I, that does not happen. That did not happen to me last time. I thought they were gonna come and kill him. <laughs> I, gee, I wonder if, what that happens if he if what happens to the victory condition if he gets killed be, like Well, okay All right, that was that was fun <laughs> As I said this mission's kind of hellish. I'm glad we're done with that. Your strength is growing. You will need it <laughs> Thanks all right, um, so let's do this. On to mission, uh, the Imperium side of the cure, which actually is not quite as bad. Uh, similar technique, we gotta capture Karak and move him to the off-world transport, except we do it from the opposite side of the map, and you guessed it, the Freedom Guard have overwhelming control over the rest of the map. So here we have <laughs> a wonderfully almost burnt to the ground headquarters that we get to start with. Um, and we do have a water over here. That's pretty much the only water that's easily accessible to us. The other two are controlled by Freedom Guard defenses. And they've got artillery. All types of fun. All types of fun in this mission. Uh, so what we have to do is we just have to hold this place long enough to build up a decent force to go get Karak. Um, that's pretty much what has to happen here. Because they have, um, they have artillery and a train facility guarded by rail platforms down there, so. Um, Alright. So we're going to gonna use this guy to help collect the water. And we are going to be upgrading ASAP because we're gonna I wanna I want some artillery of my own to combat theirs and we can use that kind of as, as defense. Okay. So that artillery is no doubt freaking annoying. We're gonna put a turret up here just for now. <clears throat> and we're gonna put another turret over here to guard against the infantry that will be coming out of here. 
Okay. All right, we got water coming in. And, okay, I'm gonna upgrade this. I'm gonna wait for the upgrade to build our first neutron accelerator. Probably stick it over here. And probably just gonna wanna build another power generator. Okay. So. Defense, get. Troop transports. Um, the troop transport is how I plan on getting Karak out of here. Excuse me? How dare you not wait for my defenses to be completed? Oh boy. Oh boy. Not a moment too soon was that neutron accelerator completed. Alright, let's get a few more infantry. Fill this up. And I'm also gonna upgrade this. And maybe get one more neutron accelerator over here. Because they I think they last time they attacked me from that direction a little bit. Um and then maybe one more just to, to guard the water. And that should be enough towers, I think. Oof. Those infantry wrestlers are really annoying. But um, I'm gonna build a recon drone to be able to uh, to see what's going on over there. And I will not hesitate to take out their ships. Okay. Um. All right. So we're gonna, I'm gonna build some scarabs here. I'll wait till I have about eh, six scarabs. Oof. Yeah, okay, that's taken care of. <coughs> Maybe I should consider just getting rid of that turret so that when they come from this direction, they'll get hit by that instead. I'll see. Anyways, let's see what's happening over here. What? Shit! Oh. Alright, that was not supposed to happen. <laughs> but that's okay. I'll, I'll, I'll build another recon drone soon enough. It's fine. I'm gonna keep my uh, artillery right over here. All right, we're gonna have to uh, wait until we get some water here. We don't need these two freighters. Now there is another water to the north, which I could try to obtain, but it's guarded by turrets and whatnot. I'm just gonna increase the game speed a little bit uh, to enhance production of my artillery. Oh yeah, of course. I could I could just use the artillery to defend this area if I need to. Not a big deal. Um, yeah, I just gotta keep repairing things after all these attacks. What? Okay. Unit completed. All right. So. Gotta. Really? <sighs> right, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna need some water soon. You almost got got a full load for me. <laughs> Please. Thank you. Okay. So, 
Actually, one more Scarab would probably be just fine. And I'm gonna cancel that and then build a Recon Drone so that I can get some... Now, there is an Anti-Air here, which is a bit of a pain in the ass, but, you know. Okay, let's be real slow with our Recon Drone this time, huh? Let's not mess this up. Because I'm pretty sure there's a position up here where we can get view of the training facility and not get shot down. Uh, let's see. Where is it? There we go. Okay. So we have some viewpoint on that. We can start shelling it with artillery. And that may also... Um... Okay. Now, in order to eliminate the rest of the stuff that's over here, I'm going to keep on building a... F what? <sighs> okay, that's fine. <laughs> this is totally fine. Wait, did my- did I also lose my recon drone? <sighs> okay, this, it's okay. It's fine. Insufficient credit. Everything's fine. No, everything's good. It's just like waiting for my COVID-19 stimulus check to arrive. Come on, where's the money? Boy, that's a joke that's gonna age really badly. <laughs> uh, alright. Here we go. Recon drone. Let's get it back. Okay. Need another one of these. Oh, oh no, one. Oh, that's what was causing it. I didn't even realize there was a freaking skirmish tank over here. How did you get there? Okay. Alright. That solves a lot of my questions. Alright. One more time with the recon drone. <laughs> I promise this should work eventually. Alright. So. Where was that position we found? That, that was it. Okay. Let's see if we can take out that thing finally. Everything else is in pretty good shape. Okay. You guys go in there. Okay, I'll speed this up a bit. Speed this up. Okay. Keeping this place well defended. Come on, let's go. Let's blow it up. Um, okay. So I'm gonna build a, just a bunch more of, this, of, of these guys. <clears throat> and let's see if I can get a view on stuff over here. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay. That one's ready to go. Apparently I got attacked. Because one of these is on fire. You guys almost done with that turret? Okay. Let's blow that now. You guys get in there. Four of these should be good enough, I believe. After I get the that tower down, it should be pretty soon. Okay. You guys ready? Let's swarm them. Boom. <laughs> and we're in. Take these out while we're at it. Okay. So the next thing we have to do is uh, grab Karak from that facility. Which uh, is actually not gonna be too much of a task. I'm gonna repurpose some of these guys. And then we're going to uh, go grab him. 
So there's actually a little bit of a pass through the trees, um, kind of like there was in the... Let's see. We're gonna go ahead and select all these guys. <laughs> and have that happen, of course. Now there's a tree here we can, I think I can blow through in order to get access. There we go. Okay. So here, uh-oh. You guys better deal with that, okay? Yeah, you guys better be defending this area. Alright, here we go. We got him. Let's go. And hopefully I'm going. nothing bad happened. Where, where are you going? Don't go that way. <laughs> Don't go any way I wouldn't go. Here, just get... Get out. What now? Where are you? I'm okay. Alright, let's go. All right, already. Yeah, yeah. And I'm all going. we gotta do now is uh, yeah, get into yeah. the transport. All right, all right. And that's pretty much the mission. You don't have to worry about all any right, of the other right. bullshit. I could show you some of the guys the other bullshit before I end this. I could, I could um, show you guys some of the bullshit. So, there is uh, some water up here, which is heavily protected by stuff and there's water on the other side which is also protected by stuff and there's stuff all around which is there's just artillery everywhere it's it's, it's a mess i'm glad to be done with this so there we go the future of many is on your shoulders but you are demonstrating that you are up to the challenge or i'm just up to the torture the punishment uh, yeah, so that was the entirety of Mission 9, The Cure. Uh, next time, we're going to be doing Mission 10, Siege of Indra. Uh, so actually, this wasn't too long. I might not have to split this into two videos. Um, but we'll, we'll see as we go along. Thanks, you guys. Thanks. Thanks, you guys, as always, for watching. <laughs> My English is bad. Until next time, this is CS. Signing out. Bye.